Inflammation plays a key role in the pathogenesis of MPN, both in symptom burden, as well as possibly the development of MPN, as well as progression of MPN. Uh, now, exactly how the microenvironmental inflammation uh, interacts with the MPN clone or promotes disease development is, um, we're, we're learning some things, but the whole picture is far from clear. In my lab, uh, currently we're focusing on a low risk, low cost intervention, um, which empowers the patient to take a more um, proactive role in their, in their healthcare. And this is namely uh, a diet intervention. Now it's common sense that if you eat better, you're gonna feel better. Um, but we're uh, particularly looking at this in patients with myeloproliferative neoplasms. To begin with, um, we completed a, a clinical trial. It was a feasibility clinical trial simply to ask whether if we give MPN patients a, a diet intervention counseling and written curriculum, are they able to follow the diet? And the low inflammatory diet that we chose was a Mediterranean diet um, based on uh, solid literature um, demonstrating that a Mediterranean-based diet uh, can reduce inflammatory cytokines and improve outcomes in cardiovascular disease. Then the next phase of our studies are to incorporate um, Zoom-based counseling and uh, remote uh, surveys um, to really uh, allow for this intervention to be fully, fully remote. Um, and this is particularly important in the era of COVID. Um, our next studies will uh, be planned to be a much larger cohort of patients in order to uh, be powered towards um, identifying whether a, a diet intervention is able to reduce uh, symptom burden MPN patients, as well as uh, a biological measures such as inflammatory cytokines. Um, so, so stay tuned.